Do camo patterns even matter? We asked John Eberhard, Joe Miles, and Byron Horton about the importance or lack of importance of camo patterns. Hope you guys leave a comment on what is your favorite camo pattern of all time in the comments below. Here we go. So how do you feel about camo patterns specifically? Um, You know, there's some camo patterns I like better than others. I, I, I can only recall one time where I had a deer come out of the woods come out of some conifers and I was 60 yards away and it was the first time I ever wore a sat camo and I was in a pine tree which is green and a sat is a light brown and that deer and it was about he turned and looked I mean it was like I was a light in the tree he turned and looked right at me picked me and went back in the woods but other than that I, I hunt relatively high it's pretty rare I'm below 25 feet once the foliage is down uh, when the foliage is up I don't think it makes that big of a difference uh, as long as you have something that somewhat simu simulates the colors of the you know like real tree extra mossy oak uh i love these new patterns terra gila and real tree escape i love how well they're broken up uh but during early season i think having a little bit darker pattern is actually better because there's a lot of foliage in the trees and everything is a dark background basically would so, you ever would you ever wear solids like a solid tan solid green if i didn't have an option you know they do that in europe uh, when my son was in Germany, everything was just OD green. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you could definitely, since you could kill a deer out of a red plaid shirt with blue jeans. Clearly, yep. Absolutely. I mean, your odds are better with camo. Yeah, you know, you always want to go with something that's going to up your percentages. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's what you do. But, you know, people, people say, well, I've, there's lots of deer killed before anybody used sun locker out of the tree stand. Well, of course, there's, there's a lot of animals killed with spirit by cavemen, too. So, uh, you know, why don't you grab a spear and see how good you are compared to what you have that's technology driven that you could use today. For sure. You know, that those types of replies to me are, are stupid. They sound like the caveman. Well, a lot of deer that were shot out of a tree stand or without sound line. Well, of course there were. I shot lots of deer. I go into 35 years without using it. So. Uh-huh. Good, good point. So, Joe, I know you're going to have a pretty good answer to this because you are the owner of Osseo Gear. <laughs> But there is some, there are some people that are kind of anti camouflage. When you started Osseo Gear, you obviously feel pretty passionate about camouflage. How do you feel about camo patterns for whitetail hunters? I, I, it's a that's a really simple uh, question to answer. If camo patterns weren't important, no predator in nature would be camouflage. And when you look at tigers, you look at lions, you look at bobcats, you look at mountain lions. You look at wolves, you look at owls, they're all camouflaged. Nature made them like that for a reason. And we're not uh, hunting an animal that has the same eyesight that we have. So camo is vitally important. I actually do have a lot of opinions around camo and, and the look, uh, the patterns, the colors involved. I'm a big proponent of something that looks good from something of an elevated ambush where something 20 to 40 yards at a slightly looking at it at an upward angle, you know, hunters in a tree, 10, 20 yards. I think there's, there's not enough design aspect of that actually. And if, if it's a ground game, I, I do kind of lean towards maybe a traditional like a ish style pattern. That's more designed to break up the human outline it not necessarily look like uh, twigs and, and trees, if you will. Uh, those are my two cents. I do say I wear some solids uh, for scouting purposes to maybe not uh, show my cards of what I'm a hundred percent doing. Uh, if, if somebody sees me just rocking neutral colors or, or olive green, stuff like that, they may say, oh, that guy's a hiker and not necessarily a hunter. Uh, so I, I do do like some some solids in the, the, the arsenal, if you will. What about a uh, choice of color? palette um oh are, are you switching good. stuff up like from the early season to you know going into late season where there's less foliage and you know less color in, in the woods? oh yeah 100 percent. i um yeah i have less green i would if i was designing a perfect pattern i would have definitely less greens in my stuff starting around november 1st you know when really a lot of leaf uh leaves drop uh, october 20th through november fifth ish here in the Buckeye state. And at that point I would like something that's uh, much more open -y concept, 
Uh, does well if you're semi skylined because that starts happening a lot more. If you look at the woods at that time of year, a, a tree trunks are, are more of a grayish color versus a, a brown. I would, yeah, I, those are a few of my thoughts around uh, a change, if you will, happening that time of year.